Hello everyone, this is Mike. Welcome to my channel, Mike the Tech Savvy. This is the second video I'm making with the Galaxy Note 10 as the main actor. And in this video I will discuss about ROMs, more specifically custom ROMs that are available right now for this device. Of course, stock ROM might feel really good and you might not want to install a custom ROM altogether. I can understand this, but if you want more control over your device, and if you like to install an ad blocker or the ACCA Magis module, which can control the charging or anything else, you'll definitely need root or a custom ROM. So what should you do if you do not want to install a custom ROM, but you still want more control over your device? Well, this is really simple. You can install Magisk. And at this point, you will have super user access to your device and you can install modules from the Magisk repository. You can basically do anything you want with your device. I'd like to start off by saying that any kind of tampering with the official software or routing the device will definitely void the warranty or actually may void the warranty, but you can consider that the warranty is void when you're doing this. So it's a one-way trip, unfortunately. You cannot really go back to this, which will trigger. As you can see right here, we have a aux bit here. And this one is an e-fuse. And once you root the device, this will turn to one. And it cannot be overwritten. And it will most probably void the warranty. Now, as far as updated custom ROMs, for this device go, I only have two variants for you from the XDA forum. If you want a more stock-like appearance, you can choose this ROM, the Dr. Ketan ROM, which is based on stock and which definitely debloats the stock experience and adds a few more options. It's a pretty good choice overall. And you can actually retain the functionality of the S Pen through this which is quite big for this device. And of course, if you want a more stock-like Android experience, you can always go for Lineage OS. It's designed by Ivan Meller, the guy who designs this specific ROM, the Lineage OS 17.1 for the S10 series as well. As far as I see, we don't have a Lineage OS 18 for the Note series. For the S10, it's already in works and has quite a lot of bugs, but it will definitely get fixed in the future. Even so, this build is getting updated every month and it's really nice if you want a stock-like experience on your Note device. If you don't want to do anything like it, you can just root the device and you'll have a similar experience because you can debloat anything you want and you can install any kind of modules you want through Magisk. I will link a video in the description below where you can see exactly how can you do this. I created a video with this specific purpose and the method that works for the Note 10 also works for the Galaxy S10 series. Unfortunately, in the past few years, Samsung has made it really complicated and it's definitely not the case that we had in the past where you can root the device in five minutes and with no long-lasting effects now the warranty is the first one which gets affected and it's not a pleasant thing when you pay for a device maybe 1000 euros it feels quite wrong to do this on purpose and void it but this is the situation fortunately in the last few years we don't have that many custom ROMs as before probably this is due to the fact that the devices are really fast you have a very fast processor along with a lot of RAM and a pretty good battery. In the past, some optimizations were required to optimize the devices. But fortunately, you do have these two options depending on what you want, a more Samsung-like experience or a more Pixel-like experience, let's call it. Even though Lineage OS isn't really the Pixel experience ROM, but Still, it's at least a more stock-like Android experience overall. I'd like to point out right off the bat that this video isn't sponsored by anyone. 
from what I could see after browsing the XDA forum at this point in time. These are the only two ROMs that keep getting monthly updates. So basically the only two ROMs which are feasible and available. As you can see from the titles, both these ROMs work on the Note 10 and on Note 10 Plus, plus on a couple other variants including the Note 10 Plus 5G, the Note 10 Plus being the only one that got a 5G version from this model year. I won't install either of them on my device because I kind of know what to expect and I won't be using this device as my daily driver anymore given that I switched to the Pixel 4a. But anyhow, both of these are probably really good choices. I read some feedback inside the threads and they are definitely worth trying if you're willing to risk the warranty that you have on your device. This was the video I had for today. I hope uh, it was helpful to you. I showed you the current updated ROMs that you can install on the Galaxy Note 10. I will link both of them in the video description below. You can definitely check them out and see for yourselves if the ROMs are a good fit or not. You can also see the latest change logs and things like that. So you can decide if they are suitable for you or if you would simply want to have root access. This is why the routing video will also be linked in the video description. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please do press the thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more similar videos in the future, also press the subscribe button, which will be displayed right here in the bottom left part. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, of course. Last but not least, in the video description, you will also find the links to my social media and to my Patreon account. Thank you so much once again. This was Mindless Savvy. Until next time. Bye.